you can finally customize your Replit agent projects. And today I'm going to walk through exactly how you can get that set up as well as how you can add this customization to any old projects that you might have already created. We'll also talk through some best practices and how I think about using these new features. So what is new? Well, in front of me, I have an existing project. It's a map of San Francisco. It has my favorite spots, and these actually come from Notion. So it's pretty cool uh, little integration. I'll link a video where you can learn exactly how to build this app and get started with a template. Now, what you'll notice is that there's a file here called replit.md, and it's in our directory here. Um, now, what is replit.md? Well, actually, this is a file that allows you to modify exactly how agent behaves. You can do really anything with this file. It's pretty exciting. Um, but there's some stuff that starts out in the file that we create for you. Uh, and if we take a look at what that is, we have an overview of our application. We have the architecture, like the tech that we're using to build it. This is kind of important, but it's also useful for learning how our application works. We get some key components. Uh, you can see our Notion integration there, as well as a data flow, um, some external dependencies, deployment strategy, and notably, a change log so we can kind of see what we've been working on. Um, now, most notably, we have user preferences. So we can customize exactly how this app works. And it's important to know this is Markdown. So like if I really wanted to get radical with the information that I included here, I could just start removing these, these sections, right? Like if I didn't want any of that, we'd delete that, I'll add new stuff. But we recommend you kind of keep some of these in here and then you find a section where you um, can kind of carve out what you would like to supply to agent and then feel free to modify these other sections as necessary. Um, and so, for example, I added my, to my user preferences, hey, I want agent to like talk to me like a pirate. It helps me brainstorm things to build. Uh, and then, you know, I said hi to agent and, you know, we get we get pirate agent. Notion Sync is working like a charm. Love that. Um, <laughs> and so hopefully you're, you're starting to think about all the possibilities that this unlocks. It unlocks a lot of really cool stuff. Um, and we're going to talk about exactly what those are. Now, quick plug, this is all in our documentation. So if at any time you're like, oh, I can't remember what Matt said, check out our docs on replit.md. I'll link these in the description. And second piece, if you have a project that doesn't have a replit.md in it just yet, note this project doesn't. You can see here, this is from my guestbook. We have some very kind comments from viewers like yourselves. Thank you. Uh, we can say, hey, and the very first thing agent's going to do is notice there's no replit.md and create a replit.md. So the way that this works is that anytime you have a project that doesn't have one, we're going to create it for you. If you'd like to create it yourself or you'd like to maintain the information in it yourself, you can do that. But agent's actually just going to use this file to better understand your project. And so you can update that information. You can change how it's formatted. You can change what's included. Um, anytime you want to start over, just delete the file. We'll recreate it for you. Uh, and so you get this like very customizable way to interact with agent. Um, that is my spiel on how you can add this to your existing projects and how it works. Now let's talk about implications, exciting stuff. What can you do with this? Well, I have a little whiteboard. So we have some examples. Communication style. This one's big, right? A lot of us build with AI. We're, you know, we've been doing this for a little bit. Maybe we're new to building with AI. You can change how AI, re, you know, responds to you. You can change your building style. Maybe you really like uh, for AI to explain in, in granular detail what it's doing. You could say before implementing changes, explain what you're going to do and why. An agent will do that every time. Um, you could ask it to break down complex tasks. You could ask for clarification. You could, you know, provide brief explanations, etc. Or if there's another sort of scheme or uh, strategy you found that works well, you can put these in the replit.md. Project context. The whole point of replit.md is to help agent understand what you're building. If you have other information about what you'd like to build that agent doesn't, you can edit it such that agent can understand your project. So if you're building a social media app, you could say, you could say that, hey, this is what I'm trying to create, and this is what I want that app to feel like. Super useful. Now, one important piece is that this is not static. Like your, your Replit MD can change. So you could have a current development phase, a thing you're working on right now. Hey, we're currently focused on implementing account management. We need uh, to add Replit auth. We need to add profile details. We need to add other, the ability to add other users as friends. We just revamped the account management page. That's the status. Um, you could put in your Replit MD as your user communication preferences that you want Replit to update the Replit MD with current development phases. That's like some inception type stuff, but you could do it. 
possibility is endless. I'm, I'm really excited to see what y'all use this for. Now, I want to tie this into some other new features in Replit. So you could add in research preferences. So what we just added very recently is this little toggle here. And you can see we get extended thinking, we get a high power mode and web search. Um, and these are really unique uh, features that can allow you to customize how agent behaves. So you could tell agent, hey, always do research. Let's see what we say here. Always do web research when you're considering implementing a new feature. Research current best practices for security implementations. Look up recent performance optimization techniques for our tech stack. And so you can customize the way that agent does web research if it does web research um, through RepletMD. You know, by default, basically, you have to say do research for this thing. So these are some options for that. More than doing external research, you can tell agent, hey, I want you to reference the style guide I've attached in this folder. I want you to reference the attachment that I uploaded when you're building this particular feature set or part of my application. Or if you're going to suggest new libraries, ensure compatibility with our existing stack, adapt external examples, verify suggested solutions. These are all like things that maybe you've noticed um, are prone to breaking or agent doesn't conform to your standards. You can document exactly how you want it to work. Now, last I want to talk about how we use this in tandem with some of those features I just mentioned, extended thinking and high power. Well, with extended thinking, agent can think longer and more holistically. With high power, we get more memory and better reasoning. And so you can think about agent now like a senior engineer, especially when combined with web search. That means, you know, no more endless loops, fewer silent bugs, etc. I've discussed this in another video I'll attach here. Now we get all of these things and assume we have like a software engineer at our disposal. What's the most important thing? Instructions, giving really clear instructions about what you want your app to look like, about how it should work. That's exactly what Replit MD is for. And you actually as the manager, you're like the software engineering manager here, actually can describe how you'd like agent, your pair programmer, your senior developer to interact with you, how you'd like it to communicate, the technologies you'd like it to use, what you'd like it to build towards. So think about it that way from a user preference perspective, from a PRD perspective. Um, and I think Replit MD is gonna be super helpful uh, for you when you're building your apps. So these are some ideas around how you might use Replit MD to build the best apps possible. I'm really excited to see what you build. And I'm really excited that we can now finally customize our project settings. I'll share some of my favorite configurations in the coming weeks. But until then, I'm Matt with Replit, and this has been how you can use Replit MD to customize your agent experience and hopefully build apps that are much closer to exactly what you're after. Uh, but until next time, peace.